What if I want to change a software instrument? Is it possible to switch one MIDI notation to another? Sounds like you have some specific questions. I've got some specific answers. In this video, of course. All right, I still have the same session open with the MIDI instruments, or several MIDI instruments and sounds. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to select an instrument. Um, but before you even can select an instrument, you really have to add the track and the correct track. So let's go ahead and do that. If you can remember from uh, the overview of GarageBand's interface videos, then you will remember this little guy. I believe it was one of the first videos I created. Uh, but it was for the add track button or if you hover over it, it says create a new track so let's go ahead and hit, hit that little guy and that brings open this window remember this window guys now let's dive into it okay so automatically highlights the software instrument and that's exactly what we want we don't want a real instrument because we already re um, went over some videos with that so let's go ahead and select software instrument hit create Okay, and that brings open by default the piano. Now, if you have your uh, um, keyboard, your MIDI keyboard controller already hooked up, then you can go ahead and start playing the piano. So I'll just hit a chord. See that? And we got signal coming in. Uh, all you have to do is connect the USB to the uh, to the computer, and you should be good to go. GarageBand will automatically read it. Okay, and now let's focus more primarily on selecting software. Selecting software, uh, or software instrument, I should say. It's really, really simple. Like I said before, you can either double click on the track, such as right here, Grand Piano. That opens and closes the right side, as well as we go down to the bottom right over here, the I button, that as well. Now you guys remember those buttons, okay. So now that we got it open, GarageBand makes it really simple and breaks down every instrument. So if we wanted drums, we wanted bass, guitar, whatever you want, you can select on that. Let's just hit bass for now. And from there, it gives you uh, subcategories of that specific instrument. So we have sub bass. Let's go ahead and select that. And it gives us a little image up here at the top. We also have tight synth bass, trance bass, upright bass. Now what's really cool is you can select one of these basses and just start playing it and previewing it. So if I go down to tight bass, tight synth bass, see how that's a different sound? And I'm just using my MIDI controller at the same time while selecting. little upright jazz bass. I like that. I like that sound a lot. And it's really that simple. It's uh, it's almost like a preview. If you want to preview several instruments, preview and selecting is pretty much integrated together. And that's it. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com.